There's a small town in America by the name of Centralia in Pennsylvania that looks like it has been hit by the apocalypse. The town was left abandoned after a coal mine fire began to burn more than 56 years ago. Underground mine fires are common across the globe. There are thousands that have been burning uncontrollably for many years. Australia's burning mountain is believed to have been burning for 6,000 years. Centralia's fire started in 1962 when residents turned an old strip mine into a dump and setting the rubbish alight. The fire spread through an unsealed opening to the underground coal mines, igniting a seam of coal, and the fire has been burning to this day. The fire stretches 12 kilometers and burns underneath an area of 15 square kilometers, 300 feet below ground. Authorities say the fire could burn for another 250 years. The fire continued to rage unchecked into the 1980s. Giant plumes of smoke and deadly carbon monoxide gases billowed from fissures in the ground. The local highway cracked and collapsed. Trees were bleached white and petrified, and people complained about breathing problems. After estimating the cost of extinguishing the fire at over half a billion dollars, the government opted to raise the town and relocate its residents. Centralia used to have a thousand people living in the town. About five residents still live there today, despite there being nothing there. All real estate in the town was claimed under imminent domain in 1992 and condemned by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. The remaining residents were being forced to move, but in 1993 they started to fight for the right to stay. After a lengthy legal battle, state and local officials reached an agreement, with the seven remaining residents in 2013, allowing them to live out their lives, after which the rights of their houses will be taken through eminent domain. There is very little left in the town of Centralia, except for roads that lead nowhere, and a few scattered buildings for the remaining residents. Pennsylvania Route 61 used to stretch through Centralia, but it was destroyed by the underground fire, and cracks tearing through the tar would make you think a severe earthquake struck the area. The town now mostly attracts tourists who visit an abandoned highway, where many profanities and obscene pictures are sprayed onto it. Over time, the highway has earned the nickname Graffiti Highway. Sort of reminds me of the Cadillac Ranch, where there are 10 Cadillac cars face down in the dirt, and people visit the cars to spray paint onto them. When you see before and after images of the town, when there was a thousand people who lived in it and now five, it is very similar to the before and after images of Hiroshima. One picture had a whole city full of buildings, and the next is just an expansive parking lot. You'd be forgiven for thinking the town was nuked and wiped off the face of the earth. I asked a local YouTuber by the name of Joey Underground, who let me use his footage for this video. Does the ground still smoke, as I did not see any smoke in recent videos? He replied, It's smoking in certain parts of the woods, but the streets are no longer smoking, and you can only see the smoke on freezing cold days. I was there in March 2018 and couldn't see any smoke anywhere. I'm not sure if it's love for the town and the house they live in, or stubbornness, but when you think of what the remaining residents have to live with, dangerous gases, cracks forming in the earth and roads, a raging fire below the ground they live and walk on, and an ever-present threat of sinkholes forming under their feet, you have to ask yourself, would you stay? Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.